Hello everybody, Berto Guy here and welcome back. This is a little sneak peek at my adventure map that I'm building. It's called, well I'm calling it the Shifty Maze. Um, you pretty much will gather from what it says is exactly what it's going to do. Um, you, my basic idea is this is you're going to have teams of two. So, even though you're really not helping each other, you still got to get to the end at the same time together in order to advance to the next section. And uh, right now I just got section one kind of like built and started. So as you see, each one of these are identical, um, down to the very last block. And what I did with this is I've taken this onto the PC by using Oprize's modding tool and I saved myself a little bit of building time so what I did is I built uh, one section then I built another section and then I mirrored it and made one whole section and then glued everything together more or less so your spawn point would be here this I still have to change um, but it's going to be in here I had a dome over top but because you can't have uh, blocks above your spawn point um, I had to remove the dome to leave it at open sky, uh, which is okay, I can live with that. Um, so the lights down here, I got the, this little pattern I'm going to do with it there to hide the, uh, the hide levers, so it'll look pretty decent when it's done. Um, here, uh, my plan is what's going to happen is when everybody's ready um, you're gonna go through here and these are broadbent's uh, death counters so you'll go and you'll sleep I'm also gonna try to put the map on a constant night time too so that way it's always night so that way you can always sleep um, and then you would spawn on here when you wake up and there's your death counter but for some reason when you take it to O-Prize's um, modding tool uh, I think some block RDs are not updated so you'll switch uh, redstone for red, uh, redstone lamps will be changed from the glowstone that's what it is and half slabs will become full bricks or full blocks instead of half slabs um, the block IDs aren't updated for that yet, I guess. Um, hopefully one day he'll get around to doing that. It'll save me a little bit of time for uh, replacing blocks and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so anyways, once each player goes through and everybody's ready, um, I'm going to have a pressure plate here. So once everybody in the game is ready, um, what's going to happen is your all the doors will open at the same time. So as soon as the last person steps on the pressure plate from spawning, the game starts more or less. I'll have a door here that the players can exit through. And then each piston door, like this would be classified as a piston door, and this would be classified as a piston door. Um, all of these are going to be hopefully placed onto a randomizer. That way it's randomly opening and closing different doors. And because there's so many different doors around, you're going to hear what's happening on your neighbor's side. They're going to hear what's, on here, what's happening on your side. So you're not really going to be sure which door is opening and which is not. So as you can see, the random abilities to run around are endless. Now, you're thinking, why death counter? Why do you need a death counter? Well, because I'm not done exactly yet. I'm also planning to do gaps in the floor. So, as you could be running along, a gap could open right underneath you because of a random tick, and you could fall right into a pit of lava. Um, that's my plan, anyways. So, it's not just going to be a shifty walls, it's also going to be shifty floors. So, that's 
hopefully I can get all that to work in perfectly. So this is like the start of it. Um, uh, like I said, each one is going to be based off of the exact same thing as the other one. Uh, no one's going to have an advantage over each other. Everybody's going to have the same disadvantage. So this is pretty much well like uh, stage one. I think I'm going to put four stages in it uh, to start off uh, for, I guess, my new world, this map. Um, I think four stages would be enough. Uh, because you have to go from stage one all the way to stage four with uh, while making it so and I've also only given you five lives so that way when uh, so when uh, you die well you'll just spawn back over in here and won't be able to access the bed um, if I because what's gonna happen is when his death counter is done, I added in something a little different here. Uh, I could destroy these here, just to show you. I put in a block here, and with a piston. So what's going to happen with this, I just... If this part I don't mind, I'll just rebuild it. So what's going to happen is, is when his death counter goes out and destroys the bed, it's also going to come and block off this area. So that way you couldn't even access it even if you wanted to. So your bed's going to get destroyed and it's also going to get blocked off. So it's like a two-in-one type thing. Um, just to make sure that the player can't access nothing. And that's that. And then uh, that I can rebuild afterwards. That's no big deal. So that's my plan, everybody. I hope you all like the little preview of my new adventure map, the Shifty Bases. And as soon as it's complete and ready, I will put it up for download, and hopefully I can get a chest to test it with some other people um, when it's done. So, everybody, take care, peace, and hope you like what's coming so far. See you later.